Hi, I'm Mark Camosio from Gunmark TV, and uh, I've got here one of the uh, many SMK rifles to show you. If you see their selection, it's uh, pretty impressive. Um, as one of the main or the largest UK distributor of air guns. Uh, this one is the Artemis SR900S. And when I saw this um, listed in their catalogue a while back, I was intrigued to get hold of one because what makes it interesting? It's a spring-powered gun. Um, it's, but to be honest, it looks to me it looks a bit like a pneumatic with the um, sort of, you can just see the exposed cylinder and um, forward barrel etc and this sort of the, the uh, loading chamber there as well it's all very PCP sort of configuration but it's actually although it's a spring powered rifle it's actually a side lever action and uh, we'll show you that action in a moment but you get quite a lot with this it's at the moment it's 180 pounds retail but it's quite a lot of features so if you're looking at the start at the front it comes with both a barrel fin a brass barrel finisher but also a silencer. Um, I'll just unscrew that. So it's got the um, threaded muzzle. Pop that on. It's quite a nice feel to the silencer actually. It's a nicely machined, sleek little number. So we'll just put that on. Obviously it's a springer, so the silencer is not going to dramatically stop the report but it does look nice, um, certainly. But quite an unusually long barrel as well, so it's, it's got a very sort of sleek, extended look about it, but um, the, everything feels quite tight and uh, quite nicely made on this, to be honest. So you're getting a, a lot of gum for your money. Um, so you've got, looking to the breech, you've got, there is actually it's sort of a single shot tray there, and then you, um, you can change that for the magazine system. I'll show the magazines um, in a moment. <clears throat> Looking down there, you've also got a two-stage trigger. That is, um, although it's got quite a nice blade and a nice feel, it's actually quite a heavy mechanism. Probably the weakest part of the rifle, I'd say. But um, you know, it's that it's in that still in that sort of beginner budget bracket. So triggers are often things where they they do save money on these. Um, you've got the obviously the pistol grip there, all synthetic stock configuration nice pistol grip uh, all ambidextrous and then moving to the back you've got this um, synthetic butt section there and uh, rubber rubber pad now the the butt there is actually you can see this large adjuster knob it's actually an adjustable butt and this is a rather neat feature so all you do is slacken that off and then this moves can move it in and out so you can dramatically reduce, as I say, the, the way to check your sort of length of pull, put it into the crook of your elbow, see where your hand falls. So for me, I'm quite tall. I'll snap that out. Um, and then actually just move that forward slightly. That's about great for me. So I've set that length of pull, nip that up clockwise, and that's it. So we've got an adjustable butt, and that really helps make the gun fit you, which is a great feature. Um, so now let's take a look at the magazine and the loading in more detail. So um, we're now going to have a look at the, the system on this. So I'll say it is side lever. Now the one, I must admit, one negative on this rifle, I, I was really impressed with this, but one negative is the tightness of this catch on the lever. So I'll just look, I'll see, it's a little bit awkward sitting down here, but I'll just... So you've got to pull that open. Obviously, it's just a simple wedge there. But that is very, it's very tight. You can hear how it's snapping in and it's a little bit irritating how tight it is. But you pull, up, pull that, put that into your groin, all the way down, all the way back. And there is a, an anti-bear trap system, obviously, inside it. This is where it's a, you feel a little uneasy letting go of the lever whilst you then go to deal with the breech. But that's how you've got to sort of do it with this. Um, there's, you know, it's a bit like a 77, um, and having to obviously you've got the, you put your your fingers at risk there, but you're holding the lever. Obviously, with this you can't. However, it's not quite as dangerous in there, obviously, but it's still, um, it's just it doesn't feel natural to let go of the lever. Now, in the breech, you've got a single shot tray there at the moment that simply pushes out from the left hand side, or you push push it in from the left hand side, and it connects with a magnet. You can see the. Uh, 
the magnet on there so it just snaps into place so if you want to use the multi-shot system take that out and then you've got <clears throat> this, this comes with three magazines like that now mine's two two this is you can see that seven shot um, actually in the magazine that I was a bit confused because SMK lists this as 13 shots in 177 and 11 in 22 on the website so I was a bit confused there but mine it's come through with uh, seven shot mags I'll just show you that on the reverse here you've got storage for the three magazines which is very neat quite nicely done um, again the mags can be a little bit tight in their recesses but it's a good feature so there's a lot of thought gone into this rifle so I'll just put that there for the moment and then we'll <coughs> we'll just see the magazine loading I'll move that so this is one of these systems where it's in reverse of the sort of theater, original theater and so you're going anti-clockwise with the case all the way around hold that you're, getting, you're holding the spring tension then you're putting one pellet in from the back skirt first so it all seems a bit fandangled but you soon get used to it that holds the system held the spring back in place and thereafter you just drop your pellets in head first into each aperture so we'll just do that so it's, again the, the magazines feel very quite slick and nicely made um, and obviously that all helps because it's all about precision around that breech area drop those in so this is the 2-2 one last one and then when it's all gone in just snap that cover back until it's all flush and then you're ready to go just put that back in okay yeah everything's coming in from the left hand side on this so you push your magazine from the left that goes into place and then close your lever so again you can hear that snap so you have to bear with me it is quite tight on the button but um, I'll just show you a few shots so basically that's the Artemis SR900S from SMK see you next time